Hey, this is Eli from Iconoclast Germain and Concrete Enterprises. The place where I challenge your fucking beliefs. The thought occurs to me about micro versus macro and how we live our lives in two different ways. We say that we want to be remembered for this, that, and the other. That's macro. And then in the micro level, we do something completely different. We've all done it. Um, but what does it mean? What does it mean to you? I'll tell you what it means. A lot of times when we're living in the micro, in, in the day-to-day, -day, we forget the way in which we want to fucking be remembered. What we want to leave behind. What we want people to know that we stand for. What do you stand for? The macro is the big picture. Whenever a person looks back over the big picture of life, and they're going to see your fuck-ups, and they're going to see where you uh, did things right. What are they going to see? What are they going to see? Are they going to see somebody that just went about it and just survived until they died? Or just went about and did shit the same old way, the same way it was always fucking done in their family or in their community and it just happened and they just were nothing? I mean, do you really want that kind of insignificance? Be a person of distinction. It came to me because I was watching uh, videos on business because, I mean, I'm a natural student. I love psychology, sociology, business, uh, interpersonal stuff, um, and science. I mean, I'm a real researchy dude. Part of my background is in research. And the way in which a lot of companies these days goes about it is the same way that most people go about their fucking lives. That They go about it in such a shady fucking manner. And they don't have to. They don't have to. I would much rather help a person or help people get there and have and help people heal for the very long term and have a really kick ass fucking life. I mean kick the fuck ass life than I would an instant customer. That's why I mean it's one of the reasons why I, I put my cell phone number on these videos. Because I want to be accessible to people. Just because you don't have the money or you don't have the time, which is bullshit, which is bullshit. You got the same 24 hours a day I do. I want you to know that I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you. I want my children to know that daddy stood for something. What the fuck do you stand for? In the end run, my clients and my customers are going to be die-hard fans because they know that I'm not just after their fucking money. I really want to help them get what the fuck they want out of life. More food, more, um, better relationship, um, more fun. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. That's what I am about in the long run. The micro is in the details. You can get caught up in the details. Sometimes, and we all do, I'll get caught up in work and I'll forget about my kids. Or I'll get caught up in my kids and I'll forget about work. Or I'll get caught up in my kids and work and forget about um, my health or, or, or my exercise routine, which is I do that a lot. A lot. Working on consistency there, fellas. My motherfuckers. But I think that a person has to actually think of themselves as a business identity, but also as a brand, a brand of life. I mean, what is your brand going to say? What are people, when they see a picture of you, when you're dead and gone, and you better think about that because we're all toast. We're all fucking toast. How are people going to see you? What are they going to think about? What's the big picture of your life? What's it about? What's it about? Are you, are you just quick cash? Or are you about low, slow, long-term quality finance? I mean, and that's, I mean, I guess that's, a, that's an overt way. Are you about quality 
or quantity. I mean, that's... I mean, life is ugly and it's beautiful. It always is. You're not going to get out of... I mean, nobody's going to have the perfect life, but you'll have a more perfect life when you get to the fucking nitty-gritty of how to live it. And it goes to the three C's. Connect, communicate on a consistent, persistent daily level. So think about that. Macro life versus micro life. And it brings me to another question. How do we balance these things? Maybe you could post your comments below. I don't necessarily think that it is balanced. I think it's more of maybe harmonizing and just flowing and not resisting with what the fuck is coming. You know, and what the fuck is in your face at the time. So, think about those things. And comment below. What I mean, can you balance these things? What does the harmonizing of those things mean to you? Um, and if you'd like my help, Text me now, 1-270-943-7691. That's 1-270-943-7691. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, I've had some people just try to call, and I can't answer every phone call. You know, my time, I, I'm fairly fucking busy, so I'll text first. And then um, if we do talk to each other on the phone, or maybe do a Facebook a face chat, video chat, we'll set up an appointment then. And maybe you just need a little bit of help or just a little bit of guidance to say, okay, what do I do about this or that? If that's the case, I mean, just text. Reach out and ask. If not me, ask fucking somebody. My text number is 1-270-943-7691. A lot of people will say, well, Eli, what if you change your phone number? Well, if I change my fucking phone number, I will let all y'all know. It will be all over this fucking channel. You'll know. You'll know. But you have no excuse to reach out and get some fucking help. All right? Talk to you later, motherfuckers.